friends, welcome back to the channel. And today, as you probably already know, I'm going to be finding out if I like square drills or not. I'm actually going to be finding out with kind of a lower quality um, diamond painting. I'm going to be doing the Mona Lisa with a cat that I got off of Wish.com. Maybe soon in the future I'll be able to compare, you know, Wish quality um, square drills to other sort of quality square drills, like better quality. Before we get into that, I cut my hair. It's gone. Like, literally just now too, I just came back. Isn't that crazy? I was trying to like flip it to get it out of my coat and it was unnecessary because it wasn't in there. So the hair lady sectioned it into five different pieces and I was able to donate five foot long chunks of my hair. Like, it was so crazy. And it was at a good length too after, after the foot was cut off. But then she's like, oh, let me even it out. And then it got this short. So not 100% sure how I feel about it because I would prefer it to be a little bit longer. But I was able to donate at the same time. So like, I feel good about that. Hair will go back. Now that that's aside, let's do this. Look at the square drills. I'm st oh, I spilled another one. I'm so used to seeing circles. So weird. So weird. If you cringe easily, you might want to look away for this part. I can hear everybody screaming because I just took that all off. So yes, here's our painting. It is the Mona Lisa with a cat. Um, it says 20 by 30 on the thing, but I think it's canvas to canvas. It looks like it's actually about two inches shorter on all sides and it only comes with 18 colors. Again, this is from Wish if you are interested. Also, somebody actually commented with the idea for this video. So if you have any ideas that you wanna see me do, Feel free to leave it down below and chances are I'll, I'll get to it eventually. I keep note of them. With my haircut, this could be like a self-portrait. Okay, I literally did like five drills and I already have a few observations. This sticky part is so far out on the canvas, I can't feel like I can't get close enough to put down the drills in the right spot. And observation two, they are so much harder to put down. Look how crooked some of these are. This is so hard. This is a lot harder than just round drills. And observation three, some of these drills have more cuts than others. Let's see if I can find some. Look right here. See how this, I don't think they're just in different directions. This one has additional cuts around it than this one does. It's like a square shape. See, those two are both diamonds, two squares and a diamond. Isn't that weird? So these have four more cuts, diamonds, than the squares, I think. Okay, I came up with a quick solution for the adhesive or poured glue edges. So I made a little frame around it with paper and I just stuck the paper to the adhesive and now my hand won't get stuck on it. Big brain, right? It wouldn't be me diamond painting if I don't spill them everywhere multiple times. There's one down here. A mess. All right. Still the first one.
before we finish this up, there is something I want to talk to you guys about. So, I kind of have four jobs now. It's been a little overwhelming, but um, that was also including YouTube. And technically, YouTube is a hobby, not really a job. But for the other three, I work a job at the county. And then I either go immediately after that to either coach or do some meetings through like a business organization I'm partnered with. So I'm leaving my house at like 7.30 a.m. I'm getting back on average around 10, the latest probably like getting in bed by 1. And then I have to wake up at like 6 the next day. It's a bit hard for me to manage my time when it comes to completing like whole diamond paintings in a week for these videos as I'm still getting like used to my new crazy schedule um, I might be filming videos that take less time to record because I have less time that I can invest so I'm not gonna be completing as many full paintings as I would like to but I will still be working on some of course and your videos aren't gonna stop you're always gonna get your videos they just Maybe I'll throw in a little bit of some different content in there as well, more so lifestyle or other types of art, along with the diamond painting videos still. I love you. Thank you for, you know, being patient and understanding. Not too much will change. I'll just be filming videos that don't take a, a full week to record, you know? But let's just finish this now. So I just finished her and before I show you the final result of what she looks like, she's looking a little scary because she's so small, but before I show you that, I had all of these full bags of extra drills. Isn't that crazy? Literally seven full bags of drills that I didn't even have to use and I'm kind of proud of myself because I didn't miss any drill as I was putting it on. Got them all the first time. That has never happened before. But with all of the extra drills, since they're square ones, I just kind of, it's a little chaotic, but I just put them all in an old candle. But with all of my other extra drills, this is what I normally do with them. These are, yeah, all extras. They're all round too, and I didn't want to mix up the, the rounds with the squares. So, I have two of these. Earlier in the video, I said that she kind of looked like me with my new haircut. You know, a little like the Mona Lisa. No, actually, I'm just joking. I don't look like the Mona Lisa. So she's a little terrifying. There are no facial features. And that cat looks very angry. Um, She kind of reminds me of that woman from the Haunting of Fly Manor House. Yeah, that lady. Yeah, that's terrifying. I'm so sorry you had to see this. But this is the Mona Lisa with the cat. <laughs> and this, my friends, is why we get bigger canvases than this little puny tiny one. It actually looks better over here than it does in person. So this is that. But we did this to find out how I feel about square drills. At first, it was a lot harder to use. When adapting over to squares, you have to be a bit more precise. Because if it's like, turn to the side, it messes up everything. One thing that I found a lot easier though, was using the multi-placers. Usually I don't use the multi-placers, because I always have like the round drills. Those are easier for me as a single placing, I don't know why. But the multi-placing for this was, it sped everything up so quick. I mean, it's still super tiny, so that's also probably why it went pretty quick. This this is how that all turned out. But when it comes to square and round drills, they both have like their pros and cons. Um, 
I feel like I would be interested in maybe trying a higher quality square drill piece to compare with some quality as well. Honestly, they're both pretty fun. If you're a little intimidated by stepping up to square drills, like personally, I thought they would be for more advanced people and I personally don't feel like I'm extremely advanced myself. I haven't done like extremely a ton of pieces yet. It's definitely doable. It's fun. I feel like it does bring the whole piece together a bit more. There's not as much space in between the drill placements. So I, I recommend trying it. It was it went pretty well, I think. But we actually have two shout outs for today because they actually left comments down below in my other videos and suggested that I should try out some square drills. So I went and I did it. But <laughs> so yeah, if you have a suggestion of what you want to see, make sure you leave that comment down below too. Maybe you'll get a shout out as well. But today's shout out is going to Alila and Kitty. Thank you guys so much for commenting. Thank you so much for watching. And for everybody else, make sure you're subscribed for a chance to be featured in next week's video. And I'll see you all next time.